big. Uh, they were big rinks, 100 feet wide. Uh, all of them, I think all the rinks I played in in Europe were 200 by 100 or something like that. And it made a difference to the, uh, <coughs> to the uh, style of play and the, and the type of player that could succeed there. Skating, there's a premium on skating. A good passer, well, a good passer made a big difference because uh, if you could hit a guy on the fly, you know, if you could hit a guy on the fly, well, they could make life difficult for a, for a defenseman or a defensive player. And so movement of the puck and hitting people on the move was a big part of the game. Uh, and and your, your shooting angles all changed as a result of, it took you a while to get used to, like I remember going in, we always often played in Prague in our first game. As we flew over, we flew over to Prague, played a couple. I would always be missing the net on the short side, you know, for a couple of games because you can't, you got to get used to the fact that the net is in the middle of the ice and the middle of the ice is seven feet more <laughs> into the middle than, than back home here. So I, I always had to get readjusted to the big ice surface every year. Well, the Grenoble was, was where I remember the see-through boards. Uh, we went over there for a, in the fall of 67, some kind of pre-tournament tournament, pre-Olympic tournament. And I can remember those see-through boards all right, because, you know, in those days, the ordinary hockey player like ourselves, like NHL was different, but or junior hockey players, we never saw ourselves much on tape. You know, we, we didn't, we, we hardly had an, a very good picture of ourselves, how we played, how we skated, how we looked on the ice. And I can remember when I saw those boards, there was a kind of a mirror effect. And I was fascinated by looking at myself, skating towards... <laughs> The boards, now this was all before the Olympics, that was three or four months before the Olympics, they had this earlier tournament, I guess just to test out the facility. But uh, I, I certainly remember the glass boards in Grenoble. 